in trend of indecent employment system of three, six and 12 month contracts being introduced and practiced by the international oil companies and their labor contractors in the oil and gas industry. Nopeng who disclosed this at the end of a central working committee meeting in Lagos found at the imposition of indecent work conditions by various international oil companies and their local collaborators as it is unfair illegal and inhuman. A national president of Nupeng, Prince William Sakboreha, who read out the stand of the union, said the system will further impoverish workers in the oil and gas industry if not checked. The group, however, called for immediate stoppage to the trend in the interest of industrial peace and harmony. The union maintained that it might not be forced, it might be forced to take decisive decision on the airing international oil and gas companies and their local collaborators if the system persists. The anti-labor postures of oil and gas companies. The CWC section, uh, in section is calling on the federal government and other relevant authorities for the opt-in time to call to other multinational and indigenous oil and gas companies that are constantly exhibiting anti-union postures through refusal to allow unionization of contract workers, refusal to negotiate, refusal to recognize workers already organized, multiple fragmentation of contracts to frustrate the efforts of the union in organizing these workers. It is also includes treating labor relations issues with contempt and disdain to the extent of refusing implementation on rulings of, of IAPs whenever it goes against the wishes of the affected companies. It is regrettable to know that NAOC and its service contracts have refused to review the service contract condition of services 2012, hiding under the guise of litigation which has nothing to do with the union. We will not hesitate to take some decisive actions in the coming weeks if these situations are not immediately ameliorated. The World Bank Doing Business DB team has announced Nigeria as one of the top 20 improvers in doing business out of the 190 countries in the world. The report will come ahead of the 24th October release.